that's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. Lofton is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Buster Posey will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Now batter. The captain. Trevor Hoffman takes the mound. Late now, Craig Biggio. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. High in the air out to center field. Lofton is there. Oh, and he can't track it down as this ball falls. The relay throw. The right fielder, number 33. Into the box, Larry Walker, as he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. So far, 2-3 for three in this one. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll add another to the total. It's 8-2 to two now. To the plate now, now to Oscar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a slider in the dirt, and it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. The first baseman number three. Tyler Alexander gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So now to the plate, Babe Ruth, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just... Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So a new pitcher coming on now as the right-hander Eric Gagne gets the call here. Luke Voigt is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hey. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that's the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nick Madrigal. No hits to this point. A ball and no strikes. Line drive base hit. Now that third base. Stepping in now, Wade Box. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two now away. Right fielder. Right. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ready with the 0-1. Hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Frozen on strike three for the fun.
Liam Hendricks enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Ready now, Jim Tomey. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Bounce to first. Scooped up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready once again, Michael Young. A hit in two tries so far. Hit hard to third. Boggs gloves it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ball set for the start of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Babe Ruth. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Standing in now, Jesse Winker, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He was a double play victim last time around. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Going back is the center fielder. And that one is gone! And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Hernandez is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Posada. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And it's fouled away. The 0-1 delivery. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And he'll reach second now with one away. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Gone! Big dog's got to eat. Nelson Cruz will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, Dero, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 on its way from Chapman. Another one sent foul. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. The third base. First pitch coming. Here it is. Four runs here in this half inning. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. The 2-1 home. Hit in the air to center field. After it is Lewis. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning.
Number 99 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And it's one and two. One and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Duke Snyder will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now, now to the plate, Craig Biggio. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Skied into straightaway right. Harper will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. Rob Dibble comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and digging in is the big time power threat Bryce Harper ninth right. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike a great job pounding his own strike one when you got a great hitter in the box got to get ahead oh. count leverage is a must a ball and a strike now popped him up Biggio is under it Makes the play one away. So stepping in, Babe Ruth is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through at one strike. Dibble is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build a perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's playing. Jesse Winker is at the plate now and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. One ball one strike the count. And this is swung on and missed so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Guess where he's going with this next pitch. Probably a little further outside see if the fish are still biting. them down to their final strike here it comes again he sends it out of play he'll try again one two Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's what we've come to expect in these Diamond Dynasty matchups. Managers pulling the strings, putting their guys in the best possible situations to produce, and produce they did here. That was about as entertaining a game as it gets. Eight to six, the final score tonight. Virginia used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never yeah, gave it back. Billy Wagner first, earns the victory on the mound. Brendan McKay slapped with eight no earned runs as he.